Coach Crabtree, suck hat. Yeah, App State, baby. Went there for wrestling camp. Go Mountaineers. That's right. I like your uh, Barbarian Apparel. Uh, oh, look. yeah, Josh does a great job, man. H hooked it up. Hooked, hooked it up. up. Uh, you guys, first off, lost last night to the defending. Well, they are champs two years ago. Yes. Who Van Warrior. Van, Van Warrior Cougars. Blocked field goal. Blocked field goal at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean... It was back and forth game, and it was a great high school game, but we were, you know, just came up short. Looking at transitioning to wrestling season, you coach all three sports, or all three seasons, by the way. Still girls softball? Nope. Uh, done? No, nope. One and done. One uh, and done? You won the SBC, didn't you? No, no. We uh, That year we won like 10 games and won a playoff game. So That's Pretty good. Turned the program around. That was the point, and um, coached the Division One girl, so – pretty cool that's pretty good yeah today oac football have things been under control here in sandusky oh absolutely um i got the division one field and uh you know we've had uh, some really good games um you know great park out here at uh, sports force we got the um island shores shores and islands uh Vis visitors bureau who helps us out with uh teams and sponsorship and they do a great job with that Looking at this facility, you really reaped the benefits of it because you had a son who got to play a national level travel ball league in in, in the hometown of like five minutes from your house, right? Oh yeah, piece of cake. We played out here since we've been uh, 12 years old and just play every weekend. I mean, you know, if it's a rain delay, we just go home and then we come back. If it's, um, it, you know, it's pretty simple. We got teams that come. We basically play a, um, you know, Midwest national schedule, you know, in our scrapper program. With the baseball is really taken off, we have about eight teams now, so they're all playing out here. And uh, this uh, complex has been really great and making baseball better. Okay, so you have a son that's now teaching with you. Yes. Do you feel old yet? No, absolutely, man. I'm not old. He's getting older, not me. <laughs> so he's in the, are you guys in the same building? No, he's in our elementary building, K through two, and I'm at the high school. You guys don't get to ride together. No, we don't get to ride. Would together. you ride together? Absolutely, I would. <laughs> I love you, man. You like economics, don't you? Absolutely. You like being economical, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, how many years is this at the helm as the head coach of the Perkins Pirates? This will be my twenty-second year as the head coach. I feel so old right now. Oh my god. Uh, will somebody eventually take over? Because it's really hard to be a head coach for twenty-plus seasons. Do you see an end in the future for you as the head coach of the Perkins Pirates? Oh, absolutely. Now I got my son in the system. You know, he wants to be a head coach. So probably in a couple years, um, the goal is to, to let him take over, let him transition to teaching, and then um, let him get into being a head coach, you know, coach, let him do some of the responsibilities. And then I got to get 300 dual wins this year. Really? Yeah, 288. Congratulations got, on the impending 300 yeah, wins. Got That's 288 awesome. right now. Congratulations. So the goal is to get it this year and then add a few more so he can't catch me. That's the goal. Oh, it should always be the goal. Make sure your kid can't catch you. That's right. You guys, um, Perkins is always super solid in track, boys and girls. Always solid in wrestling, obviously. Football, you're always really good. Got a great tradition. How do you guys continually, how are you able to do that at Perkins and in, in Perkins Township near Sandusky? We just have had, uh, you know, been blessed with some great athletes in every sport, and we're able to get the kids to do multiple sports. Uh, the past three years, we've had a uh, full-time uh, lifting coach that's on a full-time salary, so that's really helping us the past few years. So it's just a matter of, you know, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. Do you think, well, first of you got, what, 13 more years of teaching? Yeah, roughly. You got it, in you? Absolutely. Okay. I got 20 more, man. I'm as young <laughs> as they are. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a good boss or an average boss in Jeff Harbaugh? Oh, he's awesome. Okay. Awesome boss. Great boss? Great boss. Okay. Do you think you guys will ever get to have like the Pat Kenya, Jeff Harbaugh combination, winning combination at Perkins? Oh, maybe. Um, hopefully, you know. So Pat's a great dude, and uh, Jeff's a great dude. Um, Drew Davey, our... Uh, current assistant principal is a great dude, so okay. we'll take all three of them. What the heck? Why not? Why not? Okay, uh, SBC. The league gets tougher every year. O'Carver's exiting after this season. How does the league continue to be such a great league? Obviously, there's an O'Carver's not like the, the biggest loss, right? But it's a loss nonetheless. How does that conference that you guys in 
continue to be so great? Uh, we just keep working at it. Um, you know, coaches don't want to lose. And, you know, uh, losing Oak Harbor is a big hit. Um, they're hard to replace because they're all its toughest nails, you know. And George does a great job over there. But, um, you know, our conference is our conference, man. We think it's one of the best in the state, if not the best. And the kids look forward to it. Gets us prepared for the state tournament. And it's always fun to go over there and bang heads with everybody and, you know, see who the best is on that weekend. Did you see the podcast I did with Sky where I trash talked to him? Absolutely. You're good at that. Was it? Was it? Was I accurate? I'll give you about Did you it. used to hate the Oppers? Well... Back in the early 2000s, it, was, it wasn't it was the uppers. It was just, St. Mary's. you know, the whole rivalry. Okay. Little Boy in the Boot, was that the actual trophy or something? Battle of the Boot was a three-year thing, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. So. Now you love them. Absolutely. They family infiltrated now. your family. We're dude. family. They infiltrated your family. That's right. Made what, us stronger. Don't, what's Don's brother's name? What, Ryan. Ryan McDaniel looks 20 years younger than he is. Yes. Am I wrong? No. Nope. I've never Lee. met the guy, but I saw a picture of him. I'm like, who's that kid? Oh, they're like, oh, he's, is he your age? Uh, you're younger. He's 48. He, he don't look 48. Nope. Okay. Will you fight anyone? Anytime. <laughs> you want to fight now? Huh? You want to go? Zach? Actually not. Okay, <laughs> From Yurikville, 922, baby. Uh, We're ready anytime. All right. You got anything else for me? Nope. Coach, thank you for the time. It's always great to talk to you. We will see you guys at the Sandusky Bay Conference Championships this year. I don't know where else we see state. I'm out at your district, but it's always a pleasure to talk to you. It's going to be sad when your reign is over as the head coach. I'll still be around because I'm going to be telling Drew, you're soft, and you need to kick that kid off, and practice is too long, and all that good stuff, you know, the coach, assistants tell everybody. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck to you moving forward. All right, you too, buddy.